<laughs> what's up okay i think that's good enough i think we can start this video now hi you guys this is lizzie the diy lady and thank you so much for coming back to my channel is going to be about me showing you guys how i did this wig that is on top of my head this wig that if i maintain my distance you will not be able to tell if it's really a wig or if my parents are indian or if i'm pakistani why are you always lying anyways i told you guys i'll be showing you more diy stuff on this channel and today i'm going to be showing you how i did this wig I did it with the hair from Sorrel World. I already reviewed the hair so you can check that video out. I'm not going to be talking too much about the hair in this video. I will talk about some of the things that pertains to making a wig and why you need good hair. But it wouldn't be like a hair review because I already did that in another video. So you can check that out. What I will tell you in this video is that this hair, this hair you guys, this hair. It is the bombdiggity.com But it's not a hair review so let's just continue I'm gonna show you guys how I did this wig It's not really hard if you're a beginner If you've never done a wig before you'll be able to do it This is actually my third time making a wig And the first two They were not even anything to write home about But I learned from them And that's why I'm able to do this one and record it Because y'all I wanted to show the world The truth I have found about doing a wig So if you're interested in how to make a wig Keep on watching this video and let me know when you're done watching what you think about the video if you like videos like this because I really want your feedback. I want to know if you care about tutorials and DIYs or if you just want me to keep vlogging and showing you what I'm doing every day. So let's get into the tutorial yo! So basically you are going to need a dome cap, you're going to need the hair, this time I'm using the hair from Surreal World. As I told you I have another video, you're going to need a mannequin head, a comb, scissors, some pins just to keep everything together you're gonna need needles and thread you're gonna need the closure as I'm showing you I'm showing you the closure that I'm using so basically what you want to do is place the closure onto your dome cap I hope I am being clear pin the closure down so that it doesn't move while you're sewing around and you're gonna sew along the perimeters as I showed you guys so you want to get your needles and thread. I had like five needles and thread, you guys. I did not want to do this many times, you know, like putting needles into thread. Basically, the first part of your wig, you need to make sure it is secured very well. Like, look at what I am doing. I am securing the beginning of the closure just so that it can lay flat and everything will be perfect. So make sure you secure your wigs down. And I am using the double loop method to secure the thread basically if you know about sewing this part will be so easy for you so just put it up like I'm doing and double loop so that it's tight and then go around the perimeter the perimeter go around your closure and make sure that you know the closure is sitting pretty well because you want your closure to be flat ladies you don't want to be flying out here with like closure that's not laid flat I mean we know it's not your head but do they really gotta know from like four miles away you know no so basically you want to make sure that your closure is tight and nice and secured and just watch what i'm doing pretty pretty easy right yes so the dome cap is really good for your wigs ladies it is really good you don't need any additional clips and you know combs and ropes and anything because it's tight so if you have the average human head the dome cap should be good for you I'm gonna have a link in the description box you can get this on Amazon so please check the description box if you need a dome cap and right here what I am doing is just showing you how I pull on my closure to get the closure as flat as possible pull on the closure and then sew it onto the dome cap really nice and tight because you want the front of your closure to be very flat and just be careful be patient even if your thread is going in a knot, just be patient and go ahead and let everything be smooth, ladies. Be smooth. So, when you're done with that, what you want to do is knot as many times as possible to secure the end of your closure um, threading. So, make sure you knot this as many times as possible. As you can see, like, I'm going in, guys. I'm like, okay, one more knot, one more knot, just to make sure everything is sitting pretty, pretty nice. And once you're done with that, you cut it, 
and then you loop your thread one more time because that thing gotta stay tight y'all like it needs to be tight it needs to be real tight and then you cut that off and then your closure is done you see that now you can sew onto the rest of the dome cap with your weave and I'm gonna start with the longest part of my weave at the back I'm starting with the 24 inches because that makes my wig as long as 24 inches because if you start with the smaller inches at the back then that's not great but anyways what you want to do is make sure once again that the beginning of your weft sewing onto the dome cap is tight and nice like make sure it's tight the beginning because you don't want loose weave on your head you know pull 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 make sure it's tight as you can see what I'm doing and then you continue on with the sewing I kind of start really low as you see on my dome cap because I want the hair to be as long as possible if you don't start at the base of the dome cap your inches are not gonna be as long as you want them and then you just sew the same method as we did the closure sew around sew around on your dome cap I know that there are a lot of tutorials on YouTube about wig making but I really wanted to show you guys the part that people skip completely like when you get to the end of one line and you have to flip over most people don't show that and as you can see me showing right now you don't have to cut your weft at all just flip it over and knot it down with the threading really tight so that it's flat look at that make it flat down and then continue sewing with your needles and thread all around your dome cap I'm gonna show everything I do in this video like I'm not really cutting parts out and that's why the video is a little bit longer than usual because I wanted to show you guys how it is to make a wig literally from scratch to finish so basically as you see me doing here I am not leaving that much spaces in between my um, my threading I just have a few spaces from one thread in to the other because you want your wig to be secure and nice. You don't want your wig falling apart in a week. Here is the spacing I have between each weft line. Not that much either because I wanted to fit all three bundles of hair on this. And here I am flipping again to the other side. Just flipping. A few moments later and this time y'all y'all I had to get like a thing to keep this wig head mannequin head whatever head it is I had to get it so that I can really work efficiently it took me long enough to get like a rod to put it on but I did and here I am continuing on so basically we flipped it over again and we're just gonna keep going not a lot of spaces in between each one just keep on going and keep on going and keep on going it looks pretty easy right please let me know if you guys actually learned anything from this video let me know if you did what i am saying and what i'm teaching i really really figured this out finally sometimes you think you have to cut through your web just so that the lines are flat but you really don't have to you just have to make sure that you're sewing very tight at the end so you don't have a knot every time you run your fingers through your wig you don't want that knot please let's get not be knot so yeah and here I am just making sure that the weft doesn't keep falling down and I can sew pretty fast so I just go around and put that down just continue sewing ladies when she gets to the end of your first bundle you make a really tight knot so that that bundle is secured and very 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 secured onto your dome cap so make a couple more knots not too bulky but just enough to make that really secured on the dome cap at the end of your bundle and then you take the other bundle run your needle through it and put it right back on top of the last part of the first bundle basically what I am showing you right now and then go through the dome cap and do it so you continue on with the new bundle the same way we've been doing just keep going once you get to the end of the dome cap flip it over and go around again I 
I really enjoy wearing wigs nowadays because wigs just make life so much easier. I know it's kind of lazy, but it's really very efficient. Like I get fresh hair on my head. I get to wash my hair whenever I want. Wigs, wig making is like my new favorite thing, and I think I'm gonna be making more wigs, y'all. Yeah. And once you get to the end, don't forget to not, 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 and keep everything secure. You don't want your wig falling apart, ladies. I'm telling you. You don't want your wig falling apart. I'm telling you. So in the process of making the wig, don't forget to get all of the hair that may be in your way out of your way. Let me know if you guys like wearing wigs. I really want to know. Leave a comment down below. Do you like wearing wigs or are you like one of those people who think no wig, no wig, no wig? If you are, that's cool too. I really don't have anything against anybody. Everybody should just do whatever they want to do and let everybody else do whatever they want to do. Drink water, mind your business. You know what I'm saying? Just everybody do what you want to do. It doesn't matter at the end of the day. It doesn't matter. But I love wearing wigs and now I'm going to make more. A lot more. So yeah, as you can see, I'm really showing you guys everything I did from start to bottom. Wait, start to bottom? From start to finish. I'm really showing you guys everything I did from start to finish. I tried not to skip any important parts because I know some of you really, really want to know how to make this wig. I've been wearing that wig all through Instagram and Snapchat. And I'm glad that I'm finally showing you this tutorial as I promised on Instagram and on Snapchat. But, okay, anyways, as we are getting close to the end here, I want you guys to pay attention. You don't want any spaces between your closure and the sewing that you've been doing. So, as you're getting close to the end, as you can see, I have a space here. We're going to fill that space up in a little bit. You just want to make sure you're still going around in that U shape, you know, that big U shape. So, just keep on going. There's no need to cut through your webs to make any lines and lines. You can just keep going in a U shape if you follow the direction I have been giving you all through this video. When you get to the end again, you find a way to flip it over just like I have thought you. Get your closure out of the way. Make sure it's tight. You want your weave to be tight. Let this thing be tight. The key words you need to remember here is make it tight make it tight make it tight because you don't want your wig falling apart after all of this work you really don't want your wig falling apart right so make it tight make the loops double loops triple loops you know and you can see me struggling here trying to make my own loop it's like ah, what's going on loop so here i am flipping the hair just to cover that space so we have one more line that's gonna go through to cover that space and make everything pretty pretty nice and so here i am doing my last track my last line like we made it through the hand if you're still watching this video you might as well just give it a like right now like i mean you're still here the video is like past 10 minutes already and you're still here sitting with me so you might as well just give it a like you might as well just subscribe since you're still here with me you're watching the last line of me making this week Y'all can see it's coming together. We have no spaces between our closure and the weaves, okay? That is what you want. You do not want a space between your closure and your webs. Like, that space is going to be bumpy and not smooth. You want a smooth transition. Can y'all see this transition though? I mean, I'm not trying to do my own own or anything. But you guys can see that this is how you really get your weaves to lay flat and nice. This is the trick. This is the plug. I'm giving y'all the secret. The least you could do is subscribe. Like, I'm giving you the secret already. You know what I'm saying? So, basically, when you get to the end, let's, let's come back now, Lizzie. When you get to the end, do that double loop, triple loop thing again. Make sure it's tight and secure. You know what I'm saying? Tight and secure. 
you want the end you want to finish with the bang you want to Usain Bolt out of here you know what I'm saying like just boom secure that stuff look at it look how look how nice that is watching this video again just made me realize like yeah I had to put this video up look how nice that is so cut the rope and then more knots tie the knot and then you guys the finale is coming up we gonna cut through that let the closure loose Ooh. cut the weft because now we're done and this is all I have left from three bundles you guys there's no way I could have put this one one line I was really looking for space but there was no more place to put that one line and here is our wig oh my gosh it's so pretty but we're not gonna go out like this okay we still have work to do it's not over yet so what we're gonna do is cut that U part where the closure is you want to take your scissors remember I told you you're gonna need scissors so you're gonna take your scissors and cut through that U part where the closure is this is pretty self-explanatory but you know cut through that so that your closure will lay even flatter And now the closure is there alone oh my gosh look at that the dome cab is the plug I'm telling you it looks so good it's neat and so now we're gonna cut the lace and the closure away because you don't want to go around with that so some of you I've seen people I'm serious I'm not making this up I've seen people who leave that lace on their closures and I'm like how how do you not know you're supposed to cut that off please cut it off so anyways put it on my head and I'm like uh okay we need to make this work so we're spraying some water on it spraying some water because water makes it easier to work with spray some water create a part the part is not I'm not feeling the part take it off my head I'm like I need to twist this stuff so I'm twisting it taking some air out creating the more realistic part you know take some air out and now the part looks more realistic to me doesn't it look like realistic to you so I put it back on my mannequin head you know and then I comb it and then I clip it overnight so that it stays that way a beautiful shape and that's it you guys leave me a comment below if there are some techniques that I did that you think I could do better because you've done it and you know it's easier let me know if you learned anything from this let me know whatever the case is just you know shout out to you for watching this video don't forget to like comment subscribe and all that good stuff